O Snap Active Lifestyle Transforming Minds, Bodies, and Business Opportunities. Because we know health is wealth. Getting spinach in your diet is a lot better than you might think. When it comes to our heart, arteries, blood pressure, eyes, immune system, fighting cancer, as well as sustaining our insulin and glucose levels, there's nothing like spinach. Spinach has a glycemic index of 15, which is extremely low on the glycemic index. Why is the glycemic index so important? It's important because this is how fast or slow sugars get absorbed into the cells of our body, into the mitochondria, which are the cells of our body that give us energy. If we're eating processed, refined foods, sugars, sodas, desserts, that means that sugars are going to rapidly get into the cells so quick that we're going to get a surge of insulin from the pancreas. So insulin can do its job to get that glucose or sugar into the cells, but as this continues over time, the pancreas starts to get tired. That means insulin is eventually going to have problems. Not only that, but the insulin receptors on the cells are eventually going to have problems as well because the insulin receptors are like gates that have to open up to allow this glucose to come in, but eventually, they become resistant. That resistant is called insulin resistance, and that eventually leads to prediabetes and eventually diabetes. Please, like and subscribe while I tell you where the excessive sugars that are floating around in your bloodstream is going. So, if we have excessive sugars floating around in our bloodstream, where do they go? Well, some can get stored as glycogen in the muscles or the liver, but the rest eventually gets converted to fat, and eventually, we develop a fatty liver. This can eventually cause metabolic problems, metabolic syndrome, and cause more complications. There are several things that you really need to understand about spinach, what it can do for the health and wealth of your body. The main things about spinach, besides the certain nutrients that I really want you to understand, it's so low on carbohydrates. It's never going to spike your blood sugar nor spike your insulin, and it's filled with lots of fiber. One quarter soluble fiber and three quarters insoluble fiber. But when it comes to your intestines, constipation, gas and bloating, and your retention of fluids, spinach can do miracles for your gastrointestinal system. Spinach even helps your eyes. Very few of us really think about the nutrients that we need for our eyes. Spinach has lutein and zeaxanthin. That will protect your eyes from harmful energy light waves, like the ultraviolet lights in the sun. It will suppress inflammation and will also help fight those free radicals, the oxidative stress that can damage your eyes. And the fiber slows digestion from the stomach into the small intestine. It slows the absorption of sugar into the cells, and it takes stress off the pancreas. But a portion of that fiber makes its way to the colon and it feeds those probiotics, and this helps strengthen your immune system along with camphor. This is the antioxidant in spinach that can help decrease your risk of cancer and chronic diseases. And spinach is filled with nitrates, and those nitrates in the body convert it to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a gas, it's a vasodilator, it helps dilate and open up the arteries, the vessels in our entire body. That means if the arteries are open wider, the heart does not have to pump as hard. Another great thing about spinach is that it's packed with vitamins and minerals that our body needs to function properly. Spinach is loaded with vitamin K, which is important for bone health and blood clotting. It also contains vitamins A, C, and E, which are powerful antioxidants that help protect our cells from damage caused by free radicals. Additionally, spinach is a good source of iron, which is necessary for the production of red blood cells and carrying oxygen throughout the body. This makes it an especially important food for vegetarians and vegans who may struggle to get enough iron from their diets. And if you're an athlete or someone who engages in regular exercise, spinach can be especially beneficial for you. As I mentioned earlier, the nitrates in spinach convert to nitric oxide, which can help improve blood flow and oxygen delivery to your muscles during exercise. This can lead to improved athletic performance and faster recovery times. But despite all these benefits, some people may be hesitant to incorporate spinach into their diets because they don't enjoy the taste or texture. If this is the case for you, don't worry, there are many ways to make spinach more palatable. For example, you can add fresh spinach leaves to salads or sandwiches for an extra crunch. You can also saute spinach in olive oil with garlic and lemon juice for a flavorful side dish. And if you're still not sold on the taste, you can always blend spinach into a smoothie with other ingredients like banana, pineapple, and coconut water. Spinach is a true superfood that offers a wide range of health benefits for our bodies. Whether you're looking to improve your heart health, maintain healthy blood sugar levels, support your immune system, or fuel your athletic performance, spinach is a great choice. So next time you're at the grocery store, don't forget to grab a bunch of fresh spinach and start reaping all the rewards it has to offer. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow and share it with your friends and family. Please be sure to make it a great day. Thanks for watching. Like, 
subscribe, share and follow to help us reach more amazing people.